And hello from a special place in the football world. We're at St James's Park here in Newcastle upon Tyne. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England defender Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Newcastle United facing Burnley. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Should be a good game, this one. I always wanted to start the game on the front foot. Fast play, force the opposition to respond. Hopefully we get that from the start of this match. Will he finish? Well, the shot from that position left a bit to be desired. You've just got to hit the target. Let the power down a little bit and go for accuracy. He's given us away. It's with Joe Linton. Shot attempted. Wonderful block. And now the delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Almiron Wood That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make Well, great read there to intercept And he's got the... has a go Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And a corner there that really lacked guile. He's driven in the corner. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Tremendous block. Give it away. Cork. And it's gone just narrowly widely. Well, not his laces. It's the inside of his foot, Derek. It's a decent... A complete miscue by the goalkeeper. Will there be a price to pay? Oh, dear. I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. They really have put the pressure on. If... Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses. Happy to take on the shot. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. And it's with Manquillo. Nothing wrong with that idea. Almiron. And that's an important intervention. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack. Not so. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Can't miss, surely! Well, body in the way. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, they profit from this situation. And the ball sailing over everyone in the centre. And the counter-attack came to nothing. away he might be able to profit from the wide position fed over towards the back post well he failed to get it away properly it was indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time space on the flank and teammates to play it to oh a vital interception 
And the whistle is sounded for half time. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. It's with Barnes. That move looked as though it had genuine potential, but it's broken down. A move of promise on the flank. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. And he whips it in. Saint-Maximin. Still possibilities. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. Almiron. Easy save. Give it away. Gale. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Routine, really. So a throw in here. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. And a throw in forthcoming. An important interception. An abundance of space. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? And breaking at pace with Menace. Joel Linton. Promising looking ball. Now the task is to remain focused. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, let's just look at this again. Just when you think you've got a team by the scruff of the neck, they break on you like that. What pace, what brilliance. Just look at the movement. It's a brilliant, brilliant goal. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Coming onto the pitch, number 23. A possession lost, intercepted. It's a perfect challenge. And slipped through beautifully. He's just got to continue his run. And begging to be put away. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here's the replay. You've got to ask questions about the back line and the goalkeeper. They're simply not there. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, a second goal for them here. 15 minutes remaining. Substitution for Burnley. Phil Number Bardsley. 10. Number 10, Ashley Barnes. Rodriguez. Number 19, Jane Rodriguez. He takes aim. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Phil Bardsley. 
poor attempt at a pass, really. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Poor pass under... Intelligent threaded pass here. And Chris Wood. Now, this could really lift spirits. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Westwood. And teammates to play it to. Westwood. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Wood. And he has been ruled offside here. Can't have been by an awful lot. Oh, I'm not so sure, but the linesman's got a better view than I have. McNeil. Not a good pass. 